how the fuck are they going to do this when Emma just done got put out of action? So hey, you. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Hebrew 3 HD Reactions. Fuck. I mean, things look like they were going so well. Not really but you know sort of it kind of, there was some faith there right like you know they had a plan going they even figured out a way to to train the kids so that they can you know follow orders during the escape and get out of there and shit but you know that's what happens when you underestimate the mom of all moms right isabella damn bro even i underestimated her and Clearly, you can't be underestimating the moms, especially the one that is ranked the top mom of all these farms, right? I mean, shit, man. Last episode really, really caught me off guard. I didn't expect all that. I mean, I was suspecting, of course. You know, like, obviously, Isabella, they didn't really show us Isabella's point of view during all this planning and all this stuff. But I knew she was on to something. I knew she was on their trail. That much, I didn't. I didn't think she was on to her their trail that much. Like she just, you know, she yeeted Crone. I mean, cr feel yo rip Crone. Let's let's not forget about that. I feel really bad for her. I didn't think she was gonna die off that soon in the series, and the way she died, I mean, that was pretty sad, bro. I really felt for her during those moments. Ugh, Pepe hands. And then we go back to, the, you know what I mean, the gang. They're in the forest. Isabella just cuts all their shit off. It's like, nah, nigga, nah. Nah, I know what you've been doing. I know Ray's a fucking traitor, a, a, a double agent traitor, you know. I know what you guys have been planning. It's not going to happen. And to make sure it doesn't happen, I'm going to, I'm real, right real quick, I'm going to break Emma's ankle real quick, you know what I mean? And then after that, we're going to sell Norman off to the demons next. You know, just to fuck up his mindset. I think that's what she's doing. I bet you he's not even up next. But she only said that just to, you know, have him not being able to think straight. Which is ingenious on her part. I mean, you got to give her nothing but A's all down the board with how she played that whole situation. It was insane. Insane. That was easily one of my favorite episodes of the series so far, what I saw last time. But, um, all right, so this is the, the, you know what I mean, the after effects of what's happening. So we're going to jump in here, episode nine, and see how the gang is going to actually deal with this situation now that they know Isabella knows everything. And she's watching them like a fucking hawk, bro. Oh, man, I don't know how they're going to do it. A clean break. A month. Oh, man. See, she really hit Norman really hard here. Because not only does Mo Norman really care for Emma, so now he's worried about her health. And, you know, her leg and all that. He's worried about the plan. And he's worried about being shipped tomorrow. I mean, shit. Y yo, you guys are playing checkers while Isabella is playing chess. You feel me? <laughs> Fire. It's so Fire. Na 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 
na na na. Oh man, this is a big oof episode right here. Ugh. I don't think it's true, to be honest. It's not true. Oh. So it might be true. Maybe she even implanted that thought in his mind late, early on so that when she said it now, it would make sense to him and really fuck him up. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shit. Emma, hang in there, man. I agree, though. I think Emma's going to heal much quicker than she anticipated. Imagine Norman actually does get shipped off. This is the type of series that would just kill off their main characters, right? I, I can't write it off. I can't. If he actually does get shipped off, that would be fucking insane. Oh, man. trying to act cool in front of Emma but I know he's he's bugging out inside shit anybody would especially when you know demons are waiting for you, <laughs> you know? just plop a rose in your chest and it just devour your pop your body like damn to cry yeah mm. I feel you bud I feel you Just thought of something. But see, even now, Isabella is hawking them, right? She obviously is. She's. This is like one of those one moments that she would obviously be watching them even closer. We're going to let Norman escape by himself. Oh, so they're going to. They're going to let him use the rope while they stay behind? Huh. But see, I don't know. I think that's, a, that's also Isabella's plan. Obviously, Isabella, right? No. Okay. I was, th I, yeah, I was thinking she was on the other side of that door. It looks like he pulled himself together, though. I saw that I saw it in his eyes. <clears throat> oh shit. 
We're going to hit him with the plan. Denied. Damn, that's interesting. Acceptable. That's actually ingenious. Yo, Emma! Bro, Emma with the clutch play. Then catch a horrible cold. Oh, shit. I mean, come on, Norman. Of course they're not going to let you go, and go off and get killed, bro. Yeah, that's the goal. She won't accept anything but that. That face, Emma. No, don't cry. No. Oh, man. plan huh ah. wow he 
created a device that disables the tracking device. Damn, Ray. Oof, eavesdropping, I assume. Obviously, he was eavesdropping on mom, right? From the beginning. Mm hmm. Oh, so he witnessed something so crazy. He didn't forget about it. A fetus? of five. Headquarters. Oh, shit. Yeah, no shit. Bro, so what are they fighting towards? It's got to be the promised land, right? That's literally the only thing that they have to look forward to. If right after the wall is the headquarters, that's way way larger obstacle than just the farm damn i was thinking it was damn congratulations on being eaten norman <laughs> Congrats. Oh, look how hopeful and happy they are. They just don't have any clue. Feels bad, man. No, ma. Congratulations. Oh. mama basically thinking oh norman's off to get his his quick death rather than suffer you know a suffering death and yet she can still smile that way like jeez that's such a twisted way of thinking i know she has no choice the situation she's in but damn isabella like how can you smile Ah, it's so fucked. I'm very interested in Isabella's story as well, though. Very interested. Clearly, she was forced into this, into this life, either be eaten or become a mama. Ah, oh. what a depressing ass story, man. Damn. And this is still just the beginning, too. 
All right, Norman. Let's see what you got. Do your best, my dude. I got faith. I know Norman's not as athletic as Ray or Emma, too, so I'm a little concerned. I'm sure he should be able to pull it off, though, without any interruptions. I hope so. That's what we thought about the, the last plan. Just don't die, Norman. If you die, I will be really fucking depressed, bro. I'll be so sad. I really will. Disable the tracking device. What is he going to see as soon as he gets over? Oh, shit. His athletic ability is actually pretty on point. My nigga ran over the wall. More woods, of course. It's not going to be till he land, he gets on the floor, right? That we see some shit. But he, yo, could, he might even be able to see the headquarters from here, though, right? They blue ball in your nigga, bro. Fuck. Good question. Nope. Can't rely on that. Let's see her face. How's she gonna react? Nani? What? <laughs> He must have saw something absolutely terrifying, bro. Spit it out. With a smile on his face, too. It's that simple. It's that simple. There's a fucking bottomless hole on the other side of the wall. What the fuck? You want me to try and jump it, nigga? Like, shit. Damn. A 
Of course, right? Of course there would be something there. I, I don't know why I thought it was monsters. All they have to do is fucking dig this shit so deep. Nobody could jump over. No shit, man. Wow. Now I understand what got Isabella. Now I understand what got Isabella. She was standing at the top of the wall too herself. Right? She looked back at grandma. Grandma was like, so you're going to try and make that jump? Go ahead. You know, I'm just going to stand here. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and try and make that jump. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Go ahead and try and make that jump. Fuck, man. What? Yo. Oh. And I love how Isabella's reaction too, right? She looked at that, that tracking device and she knew the whole situation. The second Norman didn't show up on her tracking device, she thought of everything that was happening. She was like, all right, Norman's not showing up on the tracking device. That means he learned how to get rid of the tracking device. That means he's escaping. So he's probably getting over the wall right now. But if he did get over the wall right now, he must have realized there's no fucking way he's going to actually get over the wall right now. <laughs> so when I look to my left, I should see Norman on his way back. Oh, hey, Norman. What's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, Norman? You came back, did you? <laughs> Fuck, man. Damn. Oh, I can't wait to see how they figure this shit out, bro. This shit, yo, this shit is amazing. I love it so much right now. So good. Also, I'm going to say this again. If Don't spoil. Do not go in the comments and spoil. I know you guys read the manga. You know a whole bunch of shit. Congratulations. Don't spoil us, anime watchers. All right? The only thing I want to see is if... There's information that is in this part of the manga that they excluded from the anime. Then you can put that down below. Other than that, if it's stuff you, you want to mention about the future and all that other shit that none of us can possibly know till we watch it, cut it out. Don't do it. You'll get blocked from the fucking comment section. Believe it. All right? So respect my wishes, please. I really am I'm really enjoying the series right now. And I just don't want to, any crazy shit or any reveals to be spoiled, please. All right? Do your boy that favor. But all right, guys. That was episode nine. Wow. Another amazing episode. I'm not going to lie to you. Appreciate you guys tuning in with your boy. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.